Now let's look at string length and string extract. These three commands can do a lot of things with string. String find, string length, and string extract. And I'm going to do a little example so you can understand what they do and how they work together. So let's start with string length. And string length is just the length of a string. So I just copy paste this here and I get the string length of the string I have here. So string length of my var and I'm going to make this simpler. So I got two characters there and if I say string length and I'll reload this, two. That's two characters in my string. Very easy to understand string length. Okay, so string extract takes an input string. So string extract comma my input string, which is all this stuff here. And then I got to say you're going to start at one place and you're going to end at another place. So let's start at, let's say, one, two, three. Start at three. And I'm going to end at four, five, six, seven. Seven. And that should output name. So you kind of get the picture here. So we can use the string length to get everything after name to get all this stuff here in this manner so i can say and this is something i didn't speak before i didn't mention before you can actually not define a variable we can actually just say var set this is not advisable it's not good code unless you are inside the routine and we're going to talk about routines later but in this case we can do this it's fine so I'm going to say this is my length and I'm going to use string length that we just talked about. I'm going to grab that string there. Okay, so length, this variable, it's going to be the length of my string. So if I grab that and I replaced that with that. So we start at three and we want the whole length of the string which is all of this which so this will output that name is Jack what is your name okay so what if I want to output everything that comes after for example Jack well here I can use my string find that we just seen in the previous video so if I grab my string find here and I say find I'm just going to call this string Jack. So var set Jack and Jack is just a position of check. So I got to say string find in my string var the position. Actually find this string. It's so always find this string inside of that string. So I'm looking for Jack. And I'm going to do with the dot that's there and the space as well. So find Jack inside of my string var. So Jack's position, it's where I want to start, which is right there. Actually, I've done this wrong. I'm sorry. I actually want what. And what is going to give me this position right there. So I want to start at what. And I want to end at the length. Let me just change this to, if I reload, I get what is your name. So you can see how you can use string length, string find, and string extract to extract specific parts of your string. Before I close up this video, I just I want to point out that you can also use addition, subtraction here. So if I say the string what, for example, which is this position, and I say I want this minus one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I say minus six, I'm also going to get Jack inside of that string. 